Hello. Today my topic is on the importance and the obligation that you actually have to maximize your gifts and your talents and your skills to the very best of your ability and to use those. Um, let me start with a, first, uh, with a small story first. It comes right out of the Bible um, and I have loosely translated it and it goes a little something like this. There was a rich CEO um, and he had a new wife and he was about to take her on a, an extended vacation. Um, but first he met with his top three executives. And to the first executive he gave $50,000. And to the second executive he gave $20,000. And to the third executive he gave $10,000 and he instructed them to invest that money wisely while he was gone. So he was gone for quite some time, and when he came back, he scheduled a meeting with those executives to find out what their performance had been. And the, the first executive said, well, I took that $50,000 that you gave me, and I invested it in real estate for the company, and it has doubled in value and is now worth $100,000. And, and the CEO said, that is, that is very well done. Uh, I'm going to make you, therefore, the head of my real estate department for the company. And the second executive said, well, I took the $20,000 that you gave me and I invested it in new product development. And that new product that we created has earned $40,000 in sales since you've been gone. And the CEO said, that's outstanding. I'm going to make you head of my new product development uh, department. And so he turned to the third executive. Uh, expecting great things at this time and he said to him so how did you do with the ten thousand dollars that I gave you and that, that executive said well I knew uh, the rumors and the reputation that you have for being a hard and harsh uh, executive and so I took that ten thousand dollars and I hid it in my drawer in my office and here it is I haven't lost it and the CEO said you lazy executive uh, you know that I can be a hard and harsh executive and that I've fired ex or a hard and harsh CEO and that I've fired executives in the past for poor department growth and you're fired as well. Take that $10,000, give it to my new head of real estate and get out. And I'm going to make sure to tell everyone that you're a worthless employee and you will not be finding new employment anywhere else. And that principle, it still stands today. We have an obligation to develop our skills and grow our skills and gifts and talents to the very best of our ability and to use them at the very best of our ability. And uh, we know people today who um, have chosen not to do that. Um, and we have seen how that has played out in their life. They've chosen to play small, uh, whether that's been out of fear or out of wanting to stay in their comfort zone or just, uh, just sheer laziness, they have stayed small and they haven't developed themselves anyway. And you have seen how what they did have, they've lost even that. And then, uh, you know, people I'm sure that have done the very opposite. They have chosen to grow themselves, to make every effort to develop their talents and their gifts and their strengths and they've had struggles but they've also had breakthrough and they've had to and they've had achievement and success so what story are you going to choose i challenge you to choose the story of fulfilling your assignment and developing yourself and growing yourself uh, your talents big or small to the very best of your ability and I, ch I challenge you to start now young old doesn't matter how old you are start now and choose to shine and I'll see you again next time